Now we welcome uh, Tina Sanders, the founder of No More Tears, Silicaga Peacemakers. And Tina, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm well. I hope you are today. And I was talking to Tina uh, off camera about uh, the prayer sessions that uh, got started several months ago uh, in the midst of some of the shootings going on here in Sylacauga. Uh, Tina, tell us how some of this stuff got started as far as the program that you've got going here. Uh, well, the, it got started by um, having so many shootings in different parts of the city, and some of the citizens was concerned and wanted to do something about it. So a group of us came together and we started out doing prayer at the poll every mm -hmm. first and third Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. just to get the community out and get the uh, community engaged. Uh, now, you're the founder of No More Tears, Sylacauga Peacemakers. What has driven you to, to do this? Uh, well, with my background and my history, I work, uh, I'm still working in New York State, and I work with homicide families. Mm -hmm. uh, so I know how uh, it is to have to go through and don't have anyone there. Uh, so that's what made us really get it started here in Sylacauga, to just give the families the opportunity to know that you're not forgotten about and that there's someone here that care about you and what you're going through. Now, we've got a big event coming up in Sylacauga tomorrow. Talk about that. Yes, sir. Tomorrow we have uh, a walk that starts um, tomorrow, March to, uh, 11 a.m., and uh, we will meet up at the old Food World parking mm -hmm. lot. And what we're doing, we're walking through some of the areas, Drew Court, and different areas that have been had a lot of the shootings. And this is just to engage the community to come out. We're asking churches, organizations, family members, come out with your church banners, your organization banners, uh, people that have lost loved ones, come out with pictures of your family members mm -hmm. uh, to come out. And we're just going to walk the city and pray and uh, get people involved. We've had uh, four homicides here in Sylacauga the first part of this year. Right. Uh, I think through three months uh, of this year. And, uh, you know, that is really unprecedented for a, a town our size. Absolutely. And this has been black-on-black -black crime. What What's causing this? You know, it's hard to say what's causing it. Um, it could be several reasons. And to actually just pinpoint it, that would be hard for me to say. Mm -hmm. um, but the thing about it is that whatever it may be, we want to talk to our young people. We want to talk to the families, and we need to educate the community. But I do believe that a lot of things can be resolved if we start in the homes. Yeah. Uh, you've already talked to some of these families, right? Yes, I have. And, and what are they sharing with you? You know, they share different things. They're in disbelief or... You know, some of them are so young, mm -hmm. and mothers are having to deal with bearing their children yeah. when that's not how it that should be. That shouldn't be. No. Uh, the event tomorrow is at 11 o'clock at the Old Food World Shopping Center on Main Avenue in Sylacauga. No More Tears, Sylacauga Peacemakers, and Tina Sanders is the founder of this organization. And uh, what kind of work, you said you were at New York State, what, what kind of work you do there? Uh, well, what I do is I work with families that has experienced any kind, of, any kind of trauma, whether it be homicide, suicide, domestic violence, whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. So that's what I do. Yeah. So you got <laughs> this started here in Sylacauga. How has been the uh, feedback from this program? The feedback has been pretty good. It could be better. I think if a lot of people just would move pride out the way, I think more help could be done. It seems like from the outside looking in, not knowing anything about uh, these particular crimes that have taken place here in our city uh, of some 12,000 people, mm -hmm. uh, it seems like there's a lot of fear among people. Oh, yeah. And, th and that's not just here, but everywhere. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, we say if you see something, say something. Yeah. But at the same time, people are afraid to say something because they don't want their name mentioned. They, you know, they don't want to be known that they said something. Mm -hmm. They could have been standing right there when it happened. So we got to bring back the reassurance to the community that, you know, law enforcement can't do their job if you don't assist. If you know something, say something. But we're quick to say, well, Police is not doing this, a person not doing this. They, they are doing their jobs, but at the same time, as a person of the community and for safety, if, say something. So we need the public's help. We need the, always need the public help, and you should want a better community for yourself, your children. We want grandparents to be able to sit on their porches and not have to fear. 
kids to be outside playing with no fear, you know, be able to run around. Summer is coming up. We don't have to want to worry about gunshots. And that's not just here in Silicon Valley. That's oh, a nationwide no. issue. All over. Yeah. All over. Mm -hmm. So when people say, oh, my God, we can't believe this, it's happening everywhere. Mm. A lot of people have got guns today. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, uh, it's just uh, something that I never thought I'd see in our, in our hometown. Tina Sanders, founder of No More Tears, Silicaga Peacemakers, our guest this morning. A walk tomorrow from the Old Food World parking lot. And uh, are churches involved in this? Yes, sir. Uh, we have collaborated with uh, Combat Church. Uh, Pastor uh, Kadiris Davis has been working with us as well. Um, Fresh Start Church, Pastor uh, James Thornton and John um, Anderson has been working with us. And also I want to mention some uh, amazing ladies, Diana Thornton, uh, Charzetta Dunklin, Jada Thomas Combs. You know, these ladies that has been out there with us, uh, working with us, making a difference in the community. And so, you know, you, you have a lot of people that work behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Uh, doing things as well. So yes, uh, churches, and we're inviting more churches. We're inviting more people. If you're interested in becoming a Silicaga peacemaker and volunteering your time, you might not be in the community. You might can make phone calls, but some way that you can assist and help us. So tomorrow, Tina, where is this walk going to go? Uh, we're going to go through Drew Court, really all of the streets in Drew Court and parts of Main Street. And this is some of the area where these shootings are taking place. Yes, sir, it has been. Uh, tomorrow at 11 a.m. in the Old Food World uh, parking lot, uh, it'll be the uh, launching point for uh, the walk tomorrow here in Silicon. It's going to be a beautiful day for yes, it. Yes, sir. And, uh, what do people need to bring with them tomorrow? Uh, they, themselves, their banners, their pictures of their loved ones. And even if you can't walk, you can ride. Uh, we will have, we maybe you can get on the back of a truck or just put your car in the walk as well. Because we understand everybody can't take that, that walk. Yeah. So we don't want anything to stop you from coming out and being a part of this amazing so event. So the Silicaga PD, are they involved in yes, this? Yes, sir, they are. Okay. Yes, they are. We're talking with Tina Sanders, founder of No More Tears, uh, Silicaga Peacemakers. Uh, walk tomorrow at 11 a.m. here in Silicaga starts from the Old Food World parking lot and uh, the, the, the actual goal for your organization is what? The goal is to just bring awareness to educate our families and like I said I think if we got into the homes mm -hmm. um, because you know we have uh, young mothers raising children and I think if we got into the homes and even into the school systems and start educating and talking to because I'm a firm believer I'm an Alabama girl originally Tuscaloosa Alabama and our parents knew what was going How'd on. How did you end up in Chicago? Family. Okay. <laughs> family. Okay. Uh, I've been in New York a lot of years, and so family here. Yeah. That's how I ended up here. Wow. But um, to do uh, the work that needs to be done, we need to change the mindset. And that's our goal, to talk to our young men, talk to our young ladies. And like I said, we got to get into the homes, single parent or, or both parents, because you can be raising that, uh, have both parents in the home, but once your child get out there and do little things, it's not that you didn't talk, teach them, it's that, that the gangs, the people they hanging with, whatever they're doing, but if we can start being more active in our kids, like communication, communication is you, key. You, you too have got grandparents. That's right. Raising their grandchildren. Raising their grandchildren. And, and grandparents are not aware of the different things that's going on. Mm -hmm. They're not aware because technology has taken right. over. Right. And, and older America is not as technologically savvy as younger America right. is. Right, so it's easy for them to pull things over on the grandparents. <laughs> uh, I, I laugh when you say that because I'm a grandparent. I am too. I am too. Uh, so live, yes, uh, let, that's why I laugh because I thought about it. <laughs> let your dreams be bigger than your fears, your actions louder than your words, and your faith stronger than your feelings. You could participate in this tomorrow. A lot of people watching today are, are concerned about our community of Silicaga, and they too can be a peacemaker. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, come out and join us. Get with us. Like I said, you might not can actually be hands-on in the community, mm -hmm. but there are things that can be done. When you started this, I mean, it wasn't as large as it is now, but it had to start somewhere, right? Absolutely. Um, 
Well, no matures, like I said, has been around since 2000. And so we're, we're all over, not just Silicon, we're in New York, North Carolina. We just had a big event in March where mm -hmm. we honor homicide families and people working behind the scenes, over 500 people. Uh, so what we do, No More Tears, myself, we travel uh, to assist families. We just recently uh, been working with and headed to Washington, D.C. with the Shanquilla Robinson case. Of the young lady that got killed in Mexico. Mm -hmm. So we do a lot of work, and a lot of work we might not talk about because we can't for law enforcement sure. reasons. Uh, but we're out in the community, and we just want Silicaga to know that we're here, and we're willing to assist. Reach out to us. We've even helped some of the recent um, families with headstones. So it's things that we can do mm -hmm. because when that tragedy hit, it's an unexpected tragedy, and we need to. Um, encourage our families to get life How insurance. How is this funded? How is this organization funded? A lot of it's self-funded and also um, over the years different companies has, because we are a 501c3, mm -hmm. so different companies see the work and do support what we do and how we move around and we've made great strive, um, you know, with different people supporting us, triad distributions, um, several um, grocery stores, chains have pitched in because we do a lot of cookouts yeah. for the kids and activity days, but we also educate them at the same time. They might not realize it, but. Tina, how do we uh, promote conflict intervention? Well, we do a training. No, we do a training um, to, uh, about conflict resolution. We do a training on anger management. Do We do peer pressure trainings. So we have, that's the thing, we have a lot of things mm -hmm. that's available to not just the young people, but to the parents as well, because like you said, technology today has taken yeah. over. So, you know, grandparents, parents need to know what they're dealing with instead of just always sitting them there with the tablet. So how can people find out more about your organization? Uh, well, they can reach out. We have a building, the old consignment shop behind Jack's, 915A. North and Norton, we just got the building, so we have a location if you would like to stop by. Okay. We're putting it all together. We've been in there working, getting it together. But you can also reach out to us by area code 716-816-8264 um, and contact us. But anyway, just come by the building and reach out. We're there. We're, we're in the community. Any of these ladies, come to the poll on the first and third Tuesday, right after the council meetings. Mm -hmm. and prayer at the poll, you know, get with us. I mean, you would not regret it. Be a part of the change. And tomorrow morning is a big morning, and we want to have a successful walk tomorrow, too. Absolutely, Tell them about that. absolutely. The walk starts at 11 a.m. at the Old Food World. Uh, we will be out there, um, and we will walk parts of Drew Court and Main Street. We want the community to come out. We want families to come out. We want churches to come out, organizations any and everyone to come out and be a part of this change. Let's make a difference in the city of Chicago, in city of Sylacauga. Let's make a difference in our communities. Let's put neighbor back into our neighborhoods. And this is a peace walk. A peace walk against violence. Yeah, yeah. That's all against violence. We're here. And we even going to engage with people in the community. We want to talk to you. We want to know what's going on. Maybe something that you're not willing to say to law enforcement, but you'll be willing to All say right, that. Now, give them that telephone number again. Area code 716-816-8264. Okay. Tina, thanks for coming this morning. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. Tina Sanders, founder of No More Tears, Silicaga Peacemakers, our guest this morning on Daybreak Live. A little bit more to do on the show. We're back after this.